Now this promises to be a really interesting and I hope inspiring next hour and a half or so, uh, because it's the State of Staffordshire's Nature Report launch. And we have a distinguished uh, panel of speakers in front of me here uh, to speak to you. Uh, we're starting with the uh, Chief Executive in a moment, uh, the Chief Executive of the Staffordshire Wildlife Trust, Julian Walford. We also have special guest speaker, Mike Dilger, more of which later. And then we have a series of case studies to bring to you, which I think really emphasises the local nature of the State of Staffordshire report. So what more can we do to help wildlife? I mean, everyone here today and everyone in Staffordshire can play a role in protecting our county's wildlife and special places, whether as an individual, a land manager, a business, a local authority, or a community leader. And each section of the Staffordshire Nature Report has a list of recommendations, recommended actions. I love that about it. It's a real tool for us to go out, if you like, a calling card when we go about our business to work with people to explain what needs to be done. So to ensure the survival of Staffordshire's wildlife, new habitats need to be created. And these habitats, of course, need to be larger. They need to be in a better condition and be better connected within the landscape. Species need corridors and links to enable them to move across the countryside, both within Staffordshire and across county borders. And as the, move, as the UK moves <coughs> forward following the EU referendum result, there really is an opportunity, I think, to secure significant new protection for our species and for restoration of our nature. The vote uh, to leave the EU does open the door to fundamental change in the way our wildlife is managed and protected on land um, and at sea. So crucial wildlife protection, farming sub subsidies in particular, fisheries policies are being thrown up in the air. But with this uncertainty, there really is opportunity. Now, I'm not dodging the fact that there's a lot of risk and there's a lot to fight for. But um, I think the environmental sector is coming together now to take that challenge head on. So we've got some hard work ahead of us. So if each one of us here today could make a pledge towards delivering against one of the recommendations in the report, then I believe we could all make a contribution to protecting the extraordinary wild places and wildlife in this very special county. Thank you. Those of you that don't know me, uh, frankly, you're a disgrace. <laughs> I'm all over television like a bad rash. Uh, I was talking about Harvest Mice this week on The One Show. I mostly work on The One Show. I also work on Inside Out as well, covering various kind of wildlife and environmental stories. Uh, the One Show is 10 years old this year, and I've been working on The One Show for nine years. So uh, I've done something like 400, 450 films in that time, pontificating about everything from bumblebees <coughs> to basking shark. And it's only when I left Stafford, and Staffordshire at the age of 18, to go to university, I realised what an incredibly diverse county Staffordshire is. The place that I spent probably more time than any any other place when I was a kid was Cannock Chase. You know, that place means an enormous amount to me. I didn't realise at the time, it's just such an incredible sight. Um, I saw Red Deer there, the place I saw my first adder there. I remember listening to Night Jars there for the first time before I ever went to university. And it's a place that we, it really is international class. In retrospect of leaving the county, I realised how much had been degraded. Um, Stafford is an incredibly rural county, and I looked in the, in the, in the report when it was sent through to me, and 71% of this county is farmland. We are in a, you know, you guys live, and I used to live in a very rural county, and I think we're going to hear some very positive farmland stories, but without doubt, some of the largest declines have been on farmland. Um, farmers have got a difficult job, they're feeding the nation, but they're also custodians of the countryside. But agricultural intensification, in many ways, through no fault of the farmer, because they have to pay the bills, has resulted in farmland species declining in many ways more than any other habitat. So really, kind of farmers, um, uh, you know, they, they are the future of rock and roll, they are the future of conservation.